Hi everybody, we're back, we're back. And by the way, uh, it's Janet and Marie, we're the broads. Um, we'll be off next week, because as you know, summer starts this weekend. We love it here in, well, we're in Massachusetts, as some of you know, so those of us who are lucky enough to have somewhere to go, let's say in Cape Cod, or even also beautiful going north, you know, to Maine and New Haven. And New England is really a mother load for summer. You wonderful summer Absolutely. experiences. I, listen, I go out on my deck and I'm as happy as can be. Well, I know you certainly are. <laughs> Seriously. It's a simple life. We have a simple life. Not very interesting people, but, we're, but I'm excited because I'll get to go to Cape Cod this week. And if my house is standing, I don't know. Every, I hear you're getting quite a few calls. I'm getting raked over the coals is what I'm getting. <laughs> From your vendors, they're like, oh, money girl is coming. Janet, Yummy. I suddenly have a lot Memorial of leaks. <laughs> I suddenly have a lot of leaks. Everybody's broken calling. Systems, you broken systems, right? this and leaking this. And I'm like, well, fix it, fix it. What's it going to cost me? Everything's a $1,000. Oh, everything. <laughs> Toilets, <laughs> decks, <laughs> my well had to be replaced, my well pump had to be replaced. These are big items. Very, and, very distressing. And the hair alone, which is a full-time project. And she just came from the hairdresser. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Isn't it great? Oh, I love it. It's very costly. And very now, costly. Can I be honest with hair. you? Janet, normally, after hearing from plumbers and well people, about thousands and thousands of dollars would be so upset. No, but the fact it. that she just had her hair done, nothing makes I don't her happier. I want you to think I'm shallow, though, in <laughs> any way. I really have a lot of depth. But my hair has become such a cause celeb in my life, as you well know. It has. The fact well, that she can do this. Right. Anyway, actually, we should find, for Mike, our producer, we should find a picture of me from... <gasps> yes, that's not hard. And you'll understand why this is such a thing what you see now. We're going to put up a picture of Janet in her youth. <laughs> Wasn't so much youth. Well, you, younger. Two years ago. Three, yeah, two or three, three years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's been a All right, so anyway, I'm let's mad get as, to something a little I more I am mad as hell, you may are. I just say. And it's You're not, not alone. At, and it's not at you this time. <laughs> <laughs> I am so mad about what's going on at the banks. I, and, and the Facebook. And the brokerages. I am so, and, who, and they keep getting raises. Well, they're not losing I, their jobs fast enough, that's for sure. I mean, if I lost $300, right. I'd be from, out, <laughs> let alone $3 billion. Well, and what is and the case? Facebook thing. So I honestly, really and truly, and Janet will vouch for this, I was so angry last night that I tweeted the president. You sure did. And I said, for God's sakes, do something. Do something. That's frustrating, isn't it? Well, they're all upset that they're going to lose the campaign dollars from the big money men. And my feeling is the hell with them. I'm so angry about what you, Jamie Dimon and, and J.P. Morgan, that was bad enough. That was bad yeah, enough. Yes. And there was no hue and cry, and there was no uprising, and there was no, people were not angry. And then Facebook? Hello? Insider trading? Hello? Really? And then these guys are just, you know, on their boats and, you know, in their limos on their way to the same job today as it was. Yeah. How does that happen? It Why happens. aren't people angrier? Well, because it hasn't, does it directly affect you? I think ultimately it does. It may ultimately, but right now, today, people have their own problems. You know, my attitude but, is, you know, but, people are out of work, they're... But they're, they're all mad, they're mad at the president because he's... For not doing so something. Right. For not doing something, and no, they're not doing anything. What is it? Maybe elect, I hate to say it, too. except elect, possibly electing a, a Republican. God forbid. But that would just make it worse. What is so agonizing is did I, again, and, and we'll probably hear from the fans and, and followers. But in my mind, this did not, of course, start with Obama. We all know. We all know the Enron story, which was sort of in my mind when I woke up to all of what was too going to the seamy underbelly belly of what was going on in corporate America. But it started with George Bush, although he claims it started with Bill Clinton. But anyway. But George Bush's no checks and balances issue. I empower too much government. And that's what's happening and now. And look what happened. But now Obama comes well, in no, and no, it's no, no. still because the same thing. Th there are the, the Volcker rule, the um, Barney Frank and the, uh, I forget the other name, half of it. Um, oh, I don't know. Uh, much, Michael find out. Michael we'll find out. But the, there have been efforts, but if you have a Republican Congress, that continually blocks everything you try to do. And by the way, but what it's Obama not. What has Obama to do? It's not. And, and where is he? Where is he? Where's the anger? Where's the anger? Where's the anger? I heard him say Jamie Dimon is a good man. He's a friend of mine. That's not the response that's appropriate. I know. It is, but it's not about it. 
This Facebook thing is fascinating. And may I Although say? Although I took a little, and I, should, I hope I'm not hurting anyone's feeling, I took a little pleasure. Yes, I know, me too. Right? And I think a lot of us did. If we can't buy it. didn't skyrocket and make Mark Zuckerberg a bigger billionaire than he already is, and, and a lot of people big so billionaires. So it's only 60 billion as opposed to 100 billion. Well, you know what? Whatever. I get it. I get that. But still, I didn't want Facebook to be. I agree. A it, huge. I agree. Right, right. But I didn't want this to be the But reason. I also didn't. Right. I didn't want to be raked over the coals again. I didn't want to be hoodwinked again. No. I didn't yeah. want criminal activities to go on again. And then to have Congress go, we're going to conduct an inquiry. Well, a lot of goddamn good that does. the inquiry did the last time. Yeah. What What is going on? Well, what and where is, is the... The only wait, what can, what's wait, to happen? What do you do? Do you no, fire no. everybody? What's the what's the yeah. end? Right. Where do, you, where do you, and I think that's what Obama is struggling with. There is no easy answer to this. And here is my biggest concern. My biggest concern is that we do not have a choice in November. I love Barack Obama. Everybody who watches the show knows that. I love him. But I can't, I will I will vote for anybody who puts their foot down and says that's it. Well, no then you'll probably must. be voting for Mitt Romney. No, he's not. Mitt Romney's I not going to... I bet he does. Rain in the bank. I bet there he reckons. I bet he reckons. Listen, if there you're a people. smart politician, you recognize opportunity. This is opportunity. Oh, absolutely not. This is... There is not a self-respecting Republican in this country right now that would take on the banks. That they wouldn't do well, it. First of all, he's not. They look for less regulation, not more regulation. This is a politician, not a president. This is a politicians say whatever you want. Janet. Read, remember, read my lips. Yes. Remember, it's the economy, no stupid. Yeah. Remember, we can. It's all BS. They are not. So Mitt Romney will say exactly what he should say to get the vote, and then he won't do anything. M Mitt, no, what I'm worried about is that Barack Obama will say whatever it takes. It won't well, be Mitt Romney. No matter what you think, it's not going to be Mitt Romney. No. For Listen, sure. I am. Can I tell you something? I am right. We have it on tape. Uh, we have it on tape. I am right. Mitt Romney can say anything he wants because he's a candidate. Barack Obama cannot say anything he wants because he's the president. So the president He's also needs a candidate. To, yes, but he is the president. So I'm candidate not voting. Or not. Right now, I am not voting for either one of them. Okay. And I have never missed an election since I was eligible to vote. Never. Well, who Ever. are you going to vote for? I don't know. I'm very upset about all of this. It's very wanna, interesting to me. I want to just be on the record as saying I'm very, very upset about it. And the fact that the, there's no... I'm as upset about the fact that there's nobody at the top doing anything as I am about the fact that the public is now more outraged. I think the public is beaten down. Oh. I think the public this is This is not a good time to get beaten down. down. Let me tell you something. This The economy has been so crappy for so long and people are struggling it's so better. much. They're saying it's getting better. Do you feel it's better? You're a, a small better. business woman. A little better. A little. I don't feel it. I mean, I'm happy to still have a business, but I don't feel it's getting better so much better. We may get business, but we get smaller. And you think Mitt Romney cares about a small business in this country? Absolutely not. Does, does Barack Obama? I, I mean, know. I don't know I don't know, know what to, I don't I'm, know what to I'm do either. I'm losing. I'm, you know, I have, to, I have had vertigo, as you know, and this is not helping me. Oh, would you like to talk about it, please? I've been dizzy. She needs to talk dizzy. about it. I'm and by the way, nose. she pulls that one out whenever it's convenient. <laughs> I am woozy, though, for the whole thing. It may, I can't, you know, I, I read it like this. It... I think a lot of people are reading it like this. I don't want any Where more bad is, news. Get angry. Get they, angry. They Tweet get, somebody. Okay, listen. Everybody got angry and we had Occupy Boston, Occupy Everything. And what happened? Malaise. Well, no, I think that was the best thing we had. Correct. So everybody was, yes, yes, again. It's like the 60s. Everybody's mad as hell. And then after a month, they were hungry. But that's not good. And, and they cold. were cold. cold. The timing was a little off on and they And the, it was over. You know, so I just feel like there is anger, but it's just not the same anymore. People have changed. We're a changed then how is it gonna generation. Stop? Then how is it going to stop? Then who is going to take on the guys who, who the bank, the, 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 these, the banks, who then call their biggest clients and give them insider information? That's illegal. You can't do that. Well, there's gonna there's a lawsuit now, so that no, is illegal. And how many years do you think that's gonna wind through the courts? That'll, that'll take some anyway, time. Anyway. I think I've said my piece. I think I'm you sorry. have said your piece, and I think that really? is our I'm piece sorry. for this show. I'm very, I know she's disgruntled. I'm disgruntled. You're disgruntled. Everybody. I'm, more, I'm honestly. Just beside I'm more themselves. than disgruntled. Yeah, beside themselves. I'm really. I'm really. I'm. And I don't look I'm forward enraged. to this presidential campaign at all. No, nobody I think seems it's going to, be. to just be a. Maybe the vice presidential candidate will perk us up. I don't know. Maybe. And you think that's going to be Hillary? No. 
No? No. You think she wants out? Well, she's, if she was smart, she'd get out. I know I would. Hillary, if you're smart, get out. All right, everybody. Listen, have a great Memorial Day. Yeah, and here's safe... to summer. Here's to summer. Summer. L'chaim. L'chaim. <laughs> have a good one, really. We'll Stay speak to healthy. you in about two weeks. Two weeks. We'll be back. Bye, everyone. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to riot. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. So, I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! Money! It's a crime!